Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I just realized that I never... Oh. <laughs> this is my son. I just realized I never told you what Vlogmas was. I'm pretty sure everyone on YouTube knows what it is, but I'm sure there are people who don't. It's like a tradition that YouTubers do where they try to film 25 days, I think. I could be wrong. Um, in a row. So every day you're vlogging or making a video and posting it on your channel. Every day. This is why it scares me. This is why I don't know if I can do it. Because I haven't even edited yesterday's video yet and I have to go do that. And yesterday's video was terrible. So you're kind of getting like the real raw version of our lives. Like right now I just woke up. This like camera has a blurring effect on it and I don't know how to turn it off but... I'm pretty like, I have rosacea. If I go really close, you can see my real skin. I have rosacea, so in the morning you can see it, which is fine, I really don't care. So you'll get stuff like that in these videos. Um, you'll get real versions of our lives and it'll be fun and you'll get like a real daily intake of like my to-do list. Today, I'm going to my parents' house in Philadelphia. I'm taking the dog. Mark's staying home because he has so much work to do and we travel a lot, so when we leave, he feels like he gets nothing done. So he's going to stay home. He's working right now. It's 8 a.m. And he leaves for work at like 5 a.m. So I feel like I sleep in compared to him because he gets up so dang early. Like He gets home and he already had a full work day. And I'm like, I'm just having my coffee. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'll go edit this video right now. Take him out. Feed him. Pack my stuff. And then head to my parents. Oh, God. My brother lived in Florida for the past like four years and he's just moved back to Philadelphia and he's staying with my parents with his whole family right now. He's got three kids and a wife. So I'm gonna go home and see them, spend some family time. Um, they're the best. I'll have my nephew on here because he's hilarious. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then tomorrow I'll come back here. And then when I come back here, we're going to New York City. Like, we're staying. It's only like a mile away from here, but we're staying in the city and doing holiday stuff. So that'll be fun. <laughs> and he is over me. He probably has to be. This is what my dog does every day in the morning, no matter what time, when he's got to pee. <laughs> you have to go to the bathroom, buddy? I know. But mom was just looking at Kim Kardashian on Instagram. By the way, love her. Look how gorgeous she looks. And this caption, she said, they can steal your recipe, but the sauce won't taste the same. Yes, bitch, that's exactly right. That's some LMA shit right there. Love her for that. Love Kim single. Well, I guess she's not really single, but you know what I mean. Not married. Okay, let's go. Look how much of a mess this place is. Everything's fine. Maybe film a reel and then pack to go to my parents. I just decided today's vlogmas is going to be how I film a reel because I'm about to do one. I just decided on the reel. So typically what I do, so if you're trying to do like fashion reels, I'm not amazing at it, but I will give you my tips. I go on Instagram obviously and I start searching through all my favorite people and then I get inspired and I was just inspired by a new girl I just found. Her name is exactly Danny on Instagram and this reel here it's called how to layering for fall and winter that's her video So then I see the video, I see the way she did it, and then sometimes I'll like, you know, I try not to copy, so I'm doing my own thing. Mine is going to be how to style leather pants, and I'm just going to show my viewers one way to do that, and I'm going to use her audio because her audio is sick, and then I'm going to tag her and say inspired by her, um, because I was. And so I'm going to film that at this mirror over here. I have to clean up a little bit, and I have to get ready. Um, I already picked out my outfit, though, so... It's easier if you just like pick one thing because it's too hard when you're overwhelmed. So I was like, all right, how to style leather pants. Let me just think of one way I would style these. Zara leather pants, which are my favorite pants in the whole world. They're the extra long split seam on the bottom with the zipper um, leather pants and they zip up on the side. And then I'm wearing this Mayfair group um, sweatshirt. 
a hat, a Phillies hat, my Not Geeks Gucci uh, Air Force Ones, and then a big oversized vest. So I'm gonna film that in this mirror right here. So as you can see, this mirror is huge. This is like essential. You don't always have to use a mirror. I do because um, sometimes it's just easier than setting up and trying to get good lighting. I can just see that I can see myself here. This mirror is from Wayfair and it was like $250. It's super tall. I'm five foot nine so you can see how tall it is. And then you have to make sure everything behind you is not a hot mess, which I have to do. <laughs> but let me go get ready and I'll set this up behind me and show you how I do it. I just rewatched her reel and realized she set it up against a blank wall and filmed it that way. And I wasn't gonna do that, but I realized I might have to because I need my hands. <laughs> so these are the struggles I go through when doing a reel. So now I'm going to, I think I'm gonna do it in my bedroom um, in a space I usually use that has pretty good light. And I'm gonna set my camera up on a tripod. And yeah, so that way I have two hands in order to style and show the people like what I'm doing. I think that'll be better. So this is a creative process. You're gonna change a million times. It's fine, keep going. Look, he's home from work. There he is, the man of the hour. This is my boyfriend, Mark, if you're new. He's a trainer, so he wakes up at like 5 a.m. and it's 11 a.m., which is like, would be considered kind of early, but for him, it's like past lunchtime already because he's been up so many hours. So I'm gonna film this reel now. I just did my hair and makeup. I kept it like really basic. Um, and in the reel, she starts with like the piece she's styling. So because I'm styling leather pants, I'm just gonna put on my leather pants, socks, and like a plain um, tank top or t-shirt. And then I'm gonna keep adding stuff. So I try not to worry about the words and the editing I'm gonna use afterwards. I try just to focus on the filming process and just getting it filmed. Because if you, I have a tendency to overthink it and then I'm like thinking about what editing I'm gonna do while I'm filming and it just doesn't work. So, um, okay. Let's go. I picked a spot. I usually use, this is the only like blank spot that we have in the bedroom. And so I face the camera that way. I don't normally use this camera on the other side, but Mark convinced me, well, he's right, it's better. Um, Cause when I use this camera, it's like grainy. It always, like it'll shoot nice. And then I go to edit it and it looks grainy. So I flipped it the other way and got myself in frame, stood there, made sure it was right. And then flipped it back around. And I'm just gonna, record on my actual camera, um, not in the app. I'm just gonna record what I want and then I'm gonna either edit in the app or edit in it in shot. Yeah. I use this tripod. I'm, I have two tripods set up right now. It's really ridiculous. But this tripod's from Amazon and I just put my phone up on there and I don't move it. I think it's important not to move your phone the whole time. Yeah, it is really hard to film content and 
like have personal space and have an empty space so Mark gets some homework, he has to nap because he doesn't get that much time to sleep. But to be honest, we go to sleep late and he wakes up at 5 a.m. So I'm like in the room trying to be quiet, filming the reel, then out here trying to be quiet because we have a roommate and he's also just like not up yet. So it, there's a lot going on, but I got it done. I don't know if it's any good. I felt like I kept going like this and like looking on the side <laughs> to make sure I wasn't waking him up. But you know what, it is what it is and I filmed it. It's done. Now I'm gonna edit it. I'm going to edit in InShot, which is an app I use, highly recommend it, it's really good. Sometimes I edit on app, but Instagram is glitchy and I've had my um, reels be ruined so many times, so screw that. I'll do a um, really fast screen recording of how I'm editing so you guys can see how I do it, and I'll put that in here. And yeah, then I took the, the cover photo, I usually take a separate one if I don't have a screen grab that I like, so I just like set this up in the corner, took it with my phone, and I'll probably use that as a cover photo. Um, and then I'll draft it in my Instagram, write the caption and everything so that it's already done and everything I thought about today to do for it is finished. Um, yeah, so let's go edit it now. Okay, so for this video here, I'm just going through and I'm doing the split edit kind of function where you go and you split where you don't want things and I delete in between. I kept this editing process longer. I could have really sped this part up, but I figure anyone that needs help with the InShot app, like watch this thoroughly and I think you'll see what I'm doing here. Um, that's why I didn't want to skip through it too much. If you don't enjoy this kind of thing, just totally skip ahead. I will not be offended, but this is like the logistics of how to use this app. It's actually pretty straightforward. So I use the split tool to split the um, content and then I'll delete any parts of it I don't want. And then I go through and fine tune it. I try to get my videos down to like 15 seconds or less. This was 17 at the end. Um, but anything under 15 I think performs better. Uh, don't stress that too much though. I mean, it is what it is. Make your content, enjoy what you're making and have fun with it. I had a lot of fun with this video. I wish I smiled more, but you know, when you're filming, you're not really like, if you can't see yourself, you're not thinking about it. I was perfectly happy, but you know, it happens. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so if you have any questions, please leave them below. So this was my first edit and I actually edited it more after this. I went back into InShot, added captions. It was really long. So this is like my first run through and that's pretty much what I'm showing you. If you want more in depth, please let me know.
just finished, finally, it's been an hour, editing my reel, putting it on my Instagram, drafting it, and now I'm looking through posts and deciding what to post today because I have to be consistent and it's really difficult. So I woke up at like 9, it's 12.30. I've gotten a lot done. I'm still vlogging. Content is a lot of work, guys. Um, I hope you learned something, or if not, leave a comment down below and teach me something. That's always appreciated. I'm gonna now finish my day, probably go to the gym, then drive home, spend time with my family. I'll see you guys tomorrow in another Vlogmas. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Leave a comment below, like this video, subscribe to my channel, stick around, it's gonna get fun. Love you guys, see you tomorrow.